Hi Gemini, it's Bina Vine and welcome to um, your readings and uh, this is going to be, I'm going to be using the Wheel of the Year uh, deck which is so cute um, for our messages today. So let's see what's coming up, what's new for you Gemini? Just had a new moon in Scorpio so what's coming up for you now? Uh, we have the Six of Pentacles. This is fantastic, this shows that there's a lot of giving going on and if you've been uh, trying your best to receive a loan or some information about something or you're, you're needing a loan for some kind of reason then this would also indicate that that's occurring. Also promotions for some of you and just uh, a sort of a sense that you're going to be okay. Um, something is coming through for you. Um, also your focus is on inward or inner work and also looking to the past to see uh, the lessons that you've learnt as you move forward. Then you have the Eight of Cups, which lets you um, release a lot of the past, okay? Someone that's no good for you or a situation that was hurting you emotionally, spiritually. And you've had to, you know, although it's been difficult, you've had to let that go. And the relief that you will feel is going to be incredible from that. Then we move into... The Eight of Wands. So some some of the cards are similar to what we had for um, Aquarius. So very good luck because this brings a lot of speed, fast movement, forward progression, travel for some of you into uh, the reading, and uh, sort of brings also that you need to know that you are completely loved unconditionally, and that your guides, angels, and loved ones are watching over you. And very soon you're going to have a reason to be extremely happy. Um, you have the ladybug there in front, so there's a lot of good luck around, okay? The nine of cups, you are almost completed a cycle in your life, all right? And you are very happy with the things that you've been able to achieve because of it. And also that you're connecting with people perhaps that you thought you may not see again. So sometimes you might get a call from um, or a message from someone way back in your past. Then we have the King of Cups, and he is someone who's extremely musical, psychic, talented in many different ways, and also brings in a peace and comforting uh, energy into your reading. So you can trust and rely on someone who's just entered your life as well, and that you need to really trust in your own instincts and intuition to bring you into the place of celebration that you want to be in. And this shows in the next six weeks or so, you will have reason to celebrate and it's all because of you.